So here's a simulator showing a NAND gate. Um, I've got a voltage divider ready to go there. Um, 5 volt circuit uh, LED on an output with a current limiting resistor. Nothing on the input, which according to the truth table should give us um, output, which it does. Uh, then we've got 1 and 0, uh, which gives us output of 1, so that's fine as well. Um, and you can see the bottom one now connected, so that's 0, 1, which gives us an output of 1. And then finally we have uh, 1 and 1. Now that should give us 0, but in fact it's still giving us 1. So what's going on? Well, it's pretty much got to do with the voltage divider there. So if I change the resistor uh, to more simulate the sort of resistance you'd find as uh, the light increases for the um, photo resistor, the light dependent resistor, you can see now that that's registering um, as a 1. So 1 and 1, so that's 4.95 volts, 5 volts on the other one, um, and that gives us the 0. And then with the, if we wind but that back, which simulates putting, um, you know, lowering the light, then it goes back to um, the uh, LED on, which is what, what you want. So that's good. So this is what my test setup looked like on the breadboard. It's a bit ugly. I've got all those loopy wires because I wanted to test each and every um, NAND gate. So because we're going to need four in the next circuit. All right. So that's our CD4093. This board here is just um, one of the ones that I use, you know, for LEDs. Um, so that's just a couple of LEDs and a couple of current limiting resistors, that's all. Um, there's all dangly ones. Uh, that's just so that I can test each uh, NAND gate. Um, so there's four of them in there. Um, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll start with the first one over here. So that's input one. That's not going so well. These are very cheap boards. Here we go. <laughs> uh, and input two coming from the uh, voltage divider here, and then output going to the. There we go. The output is um, is going to this board here. So now all we need to do is probably cover this up. And we can see that that's actually working fine. And you can do adjustments. This is quite very low light, or it looks fine on the camera, but it's actually quite low light. And uh, we can check that actually what's happening by plugging this one into our voltage divider. Okay, and then just as we do cut, so that's 4.17 at the moment. And just as we cover that up, you'll see that drop. And then eventually, two point four now, and there's the light on, and about one point eight, and then as it rises, because it's the Schmidt trigger, the light doesn't go off immediately, so you'll see the voltage climb. That's three volts. 3.5, light's still on, and there it goes off at 3.8. And you can make that adjustment with this pot here. Alright, so that's one NAND gate working, terrific. Alright, so now let's go to the next one. I think it's the actual cord that's causing the problem, that wire is not, not helping. Alright, so this is the second NAND gate. And yep, that's working fine. Let's go to the third one. So that's our five volts. That's really bad. That's <laughs> a really bad connection. Um, this is our voltage divider. Oh no, sorry, that's our output. This is our voltage divider. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. And then the last one. And yeah, I 
that's working as well. So terrific, we have four working NAND gates. The next thing is to put it together so that we can um, actually build that circuit with the Hall Effect sensor.